no one's here. But what I'm going to be doing today is adding churn power to this um, sandwich two SCSI card for the Apple II and my Apple II GS, which is sitting right next to me. So, Garth Beagle graciously gave this to me at VCF Midwest, and people are running around outside, so sorry about that. And, yeah. So, I wanted to go over a couple things that uh, I did beforehand to t kind of test and know where things should be hooked up. So I'm going to take this DB25 Blue Scuzzy, hook it up here, get my multimeter. Put into beep mode. And we want this pin, um, should be the 5 volt pin. So there's, when I had the 2GS on, I had measured right here and this was uh, 5 volts coming off there. So I need to make sure that this one is connected to the churn power, and that would be powering the 5 volt on the blue SCSI, and it is. And we can verify that there is no diode there by flipping these around. And it'll still beep. Well, it did last time. Let's see. Yep, there we go. So there is no diode, so uh, we should add a diode just in case someone plugs in a USB 5 volt there. We don't want back power to come. So, adding it is actually pretty straightforward. Um, Garth Beagle also shared some documentation about uh, some other Apple II people who have done this before. So, I'm going to just take the blue SCSI off for a second. I have a diode here, just a plain old diode, nothing special. And I want the power to flow from the 5 volt here into the trim power there. So, I actually don't have, it's a lot darker than it looks. I moved to a new area, so it's a little new experience here. So, let me see if we can get a little more light over here for when I'm working. <laughs> A little better. So yeah, really all I'm going to do is solder this on and see if it works. Got my solder, soldering iron, clean this off a little bit. I actually melted some plastic with it earlier. All right. I'm not going to use any flux because I don't think it'll need it. I'm pretty hot here anyways. The only thing I need to make sure is that these things don't touch. I've already just toned that out first just to make sure that they aren't connected right now. Are they? That's interesting. These are connected. Okay. I'm not sure what even... <laughs> well, I guess people are... Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Steve. Yeah, I guess there's people getting costumes up behind me now, so... That'll be fun. Just ignore them. But there's 5 volt here. I guess you wouldn't put a diode there just because it's too close for a diode. Alright, let's see if we can get this laid out here a little sanely. Actually, I'm just going to tack this side down and then the other side. And then cut it. Alright, we got enough. Um, mm -hmm. 
Now this is a different tip than I'm used to. So this is not working very well, actually. Maybe I will use some flux. Old solder on there, I suppose. Soldering flux here and then. Oh, come on. A little bit. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. I need to get my other tip. quiet sorry all right let's do this side Should be good enough, actually. I'm just gonna snip this off. Try this. Okay. I really need some more light over here. It's very dark. Alright, let's check this out. That yeah, looks good, so let's make sure the diode is doing what the diode is supposed to do. So power flows this way. working. does not flow that way. Interesting. Okay, that looks good. Yeah, let's connect this and just make sure power it's going to 5 volt. So. Yep. And then, yep, there's resistance from the diode, but it's getting 5 volts. Alright, let's make sure nothing else looks like it's connected. Everything looks pretty good. I'm going to clean it up just a bit. Actually, we, what we can do here, we can use a microscope, because I have one, might as well use it. If the USB cable is long enough, which it isn't coming. Oh, 
All right. Let's see how this looks under the microscope. That looks fine. Looks fine, a little dirty. Make sure I didn't hit any of these traces accidentally and bridge them. Okay, got just one more thing here. That's a different one. Okay. Well, I'm pretty sure it looks fine. Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, I wish I would remember what that looked like. I don't think this is connected. Okay. There's resistance between these two. I don't remember if there was before or not. So that sucks. So this is, looks like, to be one of the scuzzy lines. Well, if there's resistance between. Oh. Yeah, there'll be resistance there now because termination is on, um, which runs through. I don't know. This sucks. Oh, never mind. Oh, it's easy to tell if I just take off the blue scuzzy. Interesting. Well, I don't understand why there is uh, resistance between these now. Oh, you can't see what I'm seeing. <laughs> the whole time. So I don't know if I uh, made made a connection between here and this when I snipped it or something. And I really don't want to break this. Because it works great. take that off because I don't trust it.
<sighs> okay, it's not going as planned. Now we can see what it was. And I'm gonna, if I want to redo this, I'm gonna put this on the other side, so I don't uh, accidentally touch something here. Okay, that's good enough. Now let's see if it actually touched. Alright, so there is no resistance between there. This one, this one, so that's good. But I took it off. And I might turn it off. Yeah, recheck re everything twice. Well, okay. Let's make sure we're on beep again. Okay, so there's no resistance there. No, no resistance there, no resistance there. Wow, well, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, there doesn't seem to be any... People are... Can't see what I'm doing either. So this is what it was connected to, and if I go there, there's no resistance. If you go there, there's no resistance. So there, it must have been touching something. All right, so now time to carefully move this diode over. There we go. Now it's nice and out of the way of everything. It's still on top of that trace. Oops. Where am I? There we go. Still kind of on top of that trace, which I don't like. Maybe I'll try to trim it up and just get it to touch that trace and bridge it with solder. I have about a thousand diodes, so it does not matter. All right, that looks good now. Let's see. Yeah, that'll be good. Now we'll recheck. Okay, no resistance. No resistance. Or infinite resistance, more so. Yes, so nothing's touching here. So now if I solder this and nothing goes, ah, then we should be good. Can you hear the people in the background? Yeah, probably can. Alright. So. Yep. Try this again. Okay, this time there's no resistance at all. No resistance, no resistance. Good. Well, good thing I checked. Diode drop. 
Can do a diode check. Whoa, multimeter just went crazy. <laughs> this is weird. I don't think my diode check works anymore. Okay, one more check, just because I'm paranoid. Yep, okay. Looks good. Yep, that looks good. I'm gonna check. Make sure it didn't break anything. Okay. Let's change cameras. I'll show you the, the when I, I go to diode and touch. I got that. <laughs> Something's not right. Okay. So I got my 2GS here. I'll install this and then uh, show you and try it out. installed in slot one just for fun the blue scuzzy installed I'll just hold it here for a second and what we should see is it light up the blue scuzzy that is oops I got things pulling on things here one second okay well let's see let's I'll burn out the SD card just in case. All right, three, two, one. Woohoo! It worked. All right, so let's put the SD card in. Just to make sure that worked. Correct. Yeah, Drake, it doesn't provide turn power. And now, let's reinstall it quick. Where's my stuff? started all right there we go that one's there yeah one less cable behind this thing because there's about a thousand cables to hook up modem keyboard monitor joystick floppy drive etc Boots up. You can see the lights are on. Awesome. Well, that is all. That was really just testing my streaming setup and making sure everything worked. Alright. We'll see ya.